Yeah, because that's me all done in the church and done my prayer and put a donation in the box. Um, I talked about 1982 in regards to the uh, the running situation at the Highland uh, Games, Braemar Gathering. But uh, just a couple of weeks later, um, when I'd walked from Kincraig, which is quite near Abbey Moor, uh, I stayed the night at Kincraig and then the chap was a, a mountain rescue and um, he said, I don't, I don't see much gear. I said, oh, I'm getting uh, dropped off from me at Abbey Moor. All right. <laughs> All I had was uh, my my late father's uh, the post office issue raincoats, which used to be the, one of the most superb uh, materials you could ever find in the earth to keep the rain out. And, uh, and it went from your uh, your neck down to your toes. And, I mean, literally, it was... It, you couldn't get wet with this stuff, so anyway, I, I've taken that, wrapped up, and um, I've also a packet of barley sugar, sweeties, and um, that's all I had. <laughs> and I walked, uh, if you look at through the Cairngorms, through the, something called the Larry Gru, um, it's quite a, quite a feat, it's quite a distance as well. Well, so uh, anyway, bye bye, Kirk. Well, I'll have to come back and get the car. Um, we're heading down. This, this is the Fife Arms Hotel over here. I've got a new cigarette, if you're wondering why he wasn't smoking in the church, was he? No. But I walked uh, uh, the distance from uh, Kincraig to Abbeymore to um, Cullen Bridge and uh, up through Rothy Murkis, um Forest up to Lurcher's Gully and uh, through the pools of Dee, or well, past the pools of Dee, not through them. Uh, and these are very high pass. And you've got Ben McDewey on the left-hand side, well, the, the sort of northeast side, and you've got uh, Angel's Peak and stuff. And uh, anyway, the, the, the chap had told me, he says, you won't make it in, in, one, in, in one day. He says, but I strongly advise you, if it get, gets near dusk, You've got to look for uh, Karur Bothy. Uh, it'll be on your right-hand side. And right enough, I found the little Bothy. Uh, it's a long trek over to it, and uh, I've mentioned the story about Karur Bothy. I might come back to Karur Bothy and, and put up some um, pictures. I did take a camera, that's right, Andy. You took your camera with you. And uh, anyway, I stayed overnight at the Bothy, and then I walked down... I eventually got to Braemar and I was booked into a place called the Moorfield Hotel and I think I've also mentioned previously that uh, I can still recall having a, this hot bath and then coming down from my bedroom and um, for dinner and having goulash something I would never actually choose on the menu but uh, I chose goulash and it was absolutely delicious and then the next day, I mean, I had more than just goulash. I had, uh, you know, whatever sweet. I can't remember that, but I can remember the goulash. And then um, the next day, I was heading for uh, Tom and Tell with only my thumb as uh, a means of transport and my legs, of course. Yes. So this is the uh, the famous Five Arms Hotel over here, and this is a. Uh, well, it's very difficult to get any accommodation uh, around about Highland Games time. It's a very upmarket uh, place. Uh, you'll find a lot of uh, wealthy people sitting in there having lunch right now. And uh, I've been in there and I've had, uh, I've had a, a pint in the Fife Arms at all. Um, but um, it's, it is expensive. But uh, who cares about money if you're uh, enjoying yourself, you see? So... And I think the last time I was here, uh, I'd walked... No, I, I... I Yes, I walked in 2015 from... Uh, Blair Athol uh, through... Um, Glen Tilt. And to the southern part of the Cairngorms. 
It's a long way, and uh, that was another two and a half hours, but I had my tent. And I got to the Lynn of Dee, which is along that way, uh, several miles, and it's a long, long distance from Lynn of Dee uh, till you reach Braemar. Now, there's a baker's shop. Where, where's this damn baker's shop? I'm sure it was over there. Um, and I can remember, let me keep away from the people filming them. I can remember, uh, where was I? Why am I telling you all this just now? Let me gaze somewhere else, Andy, away from people. Very difficult. Um, that's too bad. I'm going to grab a coffee out of Gordon's tea room in a moment, but I'm going to have this cigarette on tell you. I'm going to come off here. This is one thing that Bremer is uh, quite famed for, is all these uh, fencing. They've all got pretty nice fences in, in Bremer for some reason. I'm not allowed to smoke there, so I don't know. I'll go down here and finish my story. <laughs> what am I talking about now? Yes, and so I went into the baker's shop and um, I said to the, the, the girl that served me, I says, uh, that bus that goes to Aberdeen, she says, where are you going? I says, well, I'm trying to get back uh, down to Perth. She says, there's no point going to Aberdeen. I says, well, it's the only way I can pick up transport. There's nothing that goes over Glenshee. She says, stick your thumb out. This is in 2015. And I says, oh, I've, my days of hitchhiking are over. And she says to me, she says, uh, go on, give it a try. So I got my coffee and whatever I had to eat. Um, I went down with a big heavy rucksack. I dumped it down. And... Um, had you got the coffee uh, lid off to get a sip and I've stuck my thumb out the very first lift of the van this is a long story, I'm sorry about this and the um, guy pulled in and uh, chopped in my rucksack and I said uh, I'm going to Perth no, I said to him, can you give me a lift to Blair Gary? he says, yeah, no problem, jump in and then as we're travelling, he said, where are you heading to? I said, I'm heading to Perth uh, from Bulgaria. He says, that's all right, I'm going through Perth. I said, oh, are you? That's brilliant. I said, well, that'll see a lot of Paula. And uh, she says, where are you from? I said, uh, from Creef. I'm going, I, I live in Creef. <laughs> she said, I'm going home. And he says, I said, who the hell are you? And I'd never seen him in my bloody life before. It was absolutely amazing. So... Um, when I got off at the village near Creef, I said to her, look, I, I absolutely insist that you take this £10 off me. He says, no, 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 I've come in this way anyway. I said, no, I insist. I said, because it's absolutely miraculous. It saves so much shite and troubles with that big rock set. He says, I, I says, give it to charity if you want. I'll do it. Get your kids or something a, a present. He says, all right, I'll take it. Thanks for that. It's kind of you. Uh, well, it's even kind of him to stop. And uh, imagine getting a lift, very first, very, very first lift, um, all the way back to your own address. It's almost like having a chauffeur. I love these middle class garments, I really do. And even the, you uh, know, I wouldn't quite say they're middle class teaspoons, any. The more decorative spoons, souvenirs. But I, I, I think these scars would be. Not so much the young middle class, but certainly the elder ladies and stuff. There's nothing wrong with them, they're great stuff. Now this is what I like, is hats. Not enough people wear hats these days, any. And uh, I really think that people should uh, return to wearing hats. I mean, the weather I, I predicted would be uh, hot after the Leo uh, transition, you know, the sun going into Leo a fire sign and already the temperatures uh, started to pick up and I think we're going to get quite a hot spell of weather I predict this anyway and um, what I was going to say was that uh, 
the sign of cancers or water signs. You're always going to get dribbles and water everywhere. Um, but with Leo, it's uh, heating up. Understand me? And yeah, so people uh, should be wearing sunbonnets. My mother wore all different types of sunbonnets. She was a real fan of wearing these uh, lavish kind of hats and uh, really, really spiffing dresses she used to wear. I give her a Jew, she was absolutely amazingly turned out all the time. Well, she loved these big sort of straw hats and stuff, you know. Yeah, it's like this stuff here. Up. But she would have it much larger. But why are not people wearing these? What's wrong with them? Hmm?